I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell is she drinking? Okay, wow, it's really bright in here, but that's good. The lighting in this place is so good. The only thing that kind of sucks is the sound. I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey, but I don't have one of those cool little microphones yet. But today, I'm going to talk about the top, hmm, I think there's eight things here that I do not fly without when I go to work and when I travel for leisure as well. These are all extremely important. As a flight attendant for five years now, these are the things that I've learned. It's one of those items that you don't know you need it until you really need it. So to save anyone else that issue, I'm gonna go through my top things I take with me to work as a flight attendant. All right, first things first. Hmm. What are we gonna talk about first? Okay, most importantly, bring a water bottle with you. Now, there's water on the plane. Sometimes it's not always the best water, the best quality water, depending on which airline you're flying in, what brand they use. So always make sure you bring your own water bottle and you can fill it up at the airport. You can also buy water in the airport, but it's literally like $5 for a bottle of water. It's not worth it. Bring your own, they have clean, and almost every airport that I've been to, they have clean, filtered water dispensers for your water bottles. This is a BKR bottle, it's glass, which I love. Um, I took the silicone part off because this is a segue into the next product I'm going to talk about. You're probably wondering why the water looks either green or black in here. That is because the second item that I never fly without is actually way over here. Second item that I never fly without is chlorophyll water. So these, focus, these are little drops of chlorophyll. I get them at Whole Foods. This has a little bit of peppermint oil in it. Now the reason I drink chlorophyll and put it in my water is because there is literally like an endless amount of benefits to chlorophyll. I personally drink it because one, I notice it helps me with bloating, two, I notice my skin just always seems to look a little bit better when I'm consuming chlorophyll drops lately. Just a little bit brighter, a little bit glowier. Um, it's good for bringing oxygen throughout your body, which is especially important when you're flying. It's good for digestion, I think I already said that. It's good for detoxing, that's huge. It's really good for detoxing. It's good for energy levels. Some of these are proven studies. Some of these, they say they need to do a little bit more studying on but these are the effects that I see in myself and one thing that is proven about chlorophyll it is a natural deodorizer so drinking this stuff helps you from getting body odor wherever you might get it so I thought that was really cool too I drink this stuff every single time I fly what I do say in a bottle like this I take an entire dropper full and put it in my water bottle I love it. It's also a really good breath freshener and it helps settle your stomach. If maybe you ate something and it's not feeling so great, chlorophyll and especially the peppermint drops that are in this particular chlorophyll are really good for it. There's a bug flying around in here. I'm in the dirty south, so there's lots of bugs around, but it's okay because I love it down here. All right, what is the next thing I'm going to talk about? Okay, this is probably the third most important. I never ever ever fly without sunscreen this is the one that i use i got it off amazon the skinny confidential recommended it so anything she recommends i use this is a caffeinated 50 spf plus spf 50 plus moisturizer you are very close to the sun when you are flying well you are closer to the most harmful uv rays so I put that stuff on my hands because if you're sitting in a window seat, you never realize like the way the sun is shining through and hitting your hands. And your hands, especially for us women, are one of the first things to age. So with the amount that I'm on an airplane, I always, always make sure that I'm wearing sunscreen because I'm not trying to get any wrinkles. Anyway, next thing also regarding skin would be rose water. Now, this is essential, especially for long haul flights. I like this one because it has glycerin in it, so it has a little bit of extra moisturizing properties. The airplane is so dry. It's literally anything you put on your face 
on your skin, it's going to suck it up because it's so dry on the plane. So you need to make sure, one, obviously the sunscreen, make sure it's a good, clean brand. Two, you want to constantly hydrate, just all over your face. I'd say at least every two hours. I do it honestly whenever I think about it. One, it feels really good. Two, it's just really important to keep your skin dewy, hydrated, moisturized while you're flying. You don't wanna, you know that feeling when you get off the plane and you almost feel, it's like you're greasy and kind of dull. You'll still get that a little bit, but the rose water helps so much. Now, also with moisturization, your lips. I use this lip balm during the day. Come on, focus. I use the Supergroup SPF 30 lip balm. This one is super hydrating. I'm extremely picky when it comes to lip moisturizers because half the time they just make my lips chapped even more. It has to be a really good, clean, all natural brand. And this one has SPF 30, which makes it even better. So you don't want wrinkles on your lips. And it's just super hydrating. And it has mint in it, which is kind of cool. So it gives you that little tingly feeling. The second one that I use, and this is I use all day, every day, before bed, when I wake up, I use this thing so much. It's technically an all over moisture stick, cocoa kind. I'm obsessed with this brand for starters, but this stuff goes well on your lips. You can either take your finger and dot it around your eyes. You can literally, when I go snowboarding, I rub this stuff all over my cheeks, anywhere where my skin is exposed to frigid dry air, like on an airplane. I rub this stuff on my face. Now I don't do this when I'm at work because I have makeup on my face, but this thing is so moisturizing. It is so essential. I never leave or go anywhere or travel without this. My matcha stick one more time so I make sure you see it. Honestly, if you buy anything, you need to buy this moisturizer stick. Okay, oh my Lord, it's hot in here. I'm in New Orleans and it is a humid, humid, uh, but that's good because we like moisture in the air to moisturize our skin. Anyway, another thing that I like to wear or use when I'm on the airplane. Now, I just recently started using these and these are something that it's basically like, I don't know how I lived my life without them before. When I'm on an airplane and when most people are on an airplane, you tend to what? Be on your gadgets a lot. When I'm not doing service, when I'm not helping customers and I have downtime, a lot of the time I'm looking at my phone or even when I am helping the customers, I'm looking at my iPad because it's like a work iPad. So I got blue light blocking glasses. Now these, if you've ever noticed yourself um, getting like screen fatigue or headaches from looking at a screen too long, these help prevent that. The blue light that comes off those screens are so bad for you. They're bad for your eyes. They're actually bad for your skin. And it's bad for your circadian rhythm. It kind of messes up your melatonin levels. So when it is time to wind down and go to bed, it actually inhibits you from being able to fall into a deep sleep when you're looking at screens too much and that blue light is going into your retinas. So that is why everyone needs, whether you're flying or not, everyone needs blue light blocking glasses. Plus they're kind of cute, you know? You can have like a glasses moment, whether you need prescription or not, without feeling like an idiot. Anyway, all right, next thing. Okay, who has ever felt disgustingly bloated after flying or while flying? You're enjoying a cocktail on the plane, maybe eating something provided by the stewardess, um, by the airline. Um, maybe you ate something in the airport and then you get on the plane, you're flying, and then all of a sudden your stomach is huge. It's literally blown up like a hot air balloon. It is the most uncomfortable feeling. You unbutton your shorts, your pants. You have to like freaking loosen your seatbelt. It is miserable. I've been there too many times. And I've discovered something that helps with that immensely. I don't use these all the time. I only use these if I really freaking need it. These, I've got them in my little stasher bag, are digestive enzymes. They're these little pills. 
They're chewable, they're papaya enzymes, so they're all natural. They just help your digestive system, digestive fluids, enzymes, moving in your body so that you can properly digest that food a little bit easier. Um, it helps with the bloating, it helps with the gas, it's so gross, but hey, it happens. I will put a link for those down below. I always get the papaya ones. You can either pick them up at Whole Foods. I have the Whole Foods 365 brand. There's another brand that's really good. I don't remember the name of it, but I will put a link down below for it. Digestive enzymes. Also great when you're traveling and you're eating out, you're eating at restaurants, your stomach isn't necessarily used to all the things that you're putting in it. Those are really good. Plus traveling alone, it messes with your digestive system, especially flying. Did you know that when you fly, your digestive, digestive system is actually suspended to an extent? So that's another reason why, even if say you're eating something really healthy on the plane, you can get bloated, you can get uncomfortable because your body is just not properly digesting with that air compression, decompression, like you're changing altitudes. It's just a whole mess in there and you wanna try to ease things up for your stomach as much as possible. Now, another thing that can really help with that, can really help with cravings, and it's just overall a comforting thing to have when you're flying, tea. This is my stasher bag full of different tea bags. Different teas that I like to have with me when I fly. Let's see what's in here. Detox tea. This is a dandelion detox tea. This helps with your stomach a lot. I love, let's see what else do I have in here. I have mainly just the detox tea. I like to fly with peppermint tea. That's really settling for your stomach as well, kind of like the peppermint oil in the chlorophyll water. Teas are just really good to have on hand when you're flying. Maybe if you're doing a red-eye flight, some bedtime tea would be really good so you can get some Z's while you're on the plane. Um, I always fly with those. It's so easy, just ask the stewardess for hot water, put your own tea bag in there. Okay, now, this is kind of like a no-brainer. I feel like if you've flown or if you travel, kind of know this already, it's a little expected, but in regards to staring at your phone, staring at a screen, getting that harmful blue light in your eyes, if you want to take a break from that and maybe make your time really useful on your flight and relaxing, bring a book. Like, it's common sense, it's a no-brainer, a book is just, when else do you really truly get? downtime with no distractions, nowhere to go, no one's blowing up your phone unless you got Wi-Fi, and even then, like, who cares, you're on an airplane. Bring a book. I currently am reading this book, High Performance Habits, by Brendan Burchard. Butch anyway, it's really good so far. I personally like to read self-help books, fiction books sometimes, but yeah, bring a book. It'll keep you busy. Okay, and then you'll feel productive too after the end of the whole flight. You're like, okay, damn, I got through like four chapters of this book that I have been taking forever to read. So that's pretty much everything. Those are my top eight essentials. I think that's eight. Um, and yeah, hopefully this is beneficial for you. Hopefully you got some good ideas. Again, I provided all the links below. If you like videos like this, if you want to see more content like this, please like the video, please maybe hit subscribe and leave a comment because I would love to hear feedback. I would love to share all the behind the scenes work as a flight attendant as much as I can right now. I'm obviously not working because the pandemic, but I will be soon and yeah, I just, this is great downtime to share my habits, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Once again, my name is Vera. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I had fun filming it. I can't wait to make more just like it. And I hope you are able to try some of these products. If you already have, you're way ahead of the game and that's awesome. Anyway, have a great rest of your day.